Sunday morning, sunny breakfast. 18 degrees, another cracking morning. It's, the weather says it's going to change after after today, so uh, change back to wet again. So we'll we'll see. You might have just seen that I was. Uh, I've tried the suit on again. You're probably thinking, why would you be wearing that suit when it's hot? Well, I wanted to give it a try without the liners in and see how it feels. Got all the vents open, so it should be nice and cool. Uh, and for those of you that... Um, I'm not patronising. <laughs> Before we start, I'm not patronising. Uh, those of you that might just be getting into biking, again, you're probably thinking, it's red hot out there. Why is he? Why has he got base layers on? You know, to keep you warm. Well... This is just me, but I wear base layers all the time. Even in sweltering 40 degrees heat, I wear base layers all the time. If you wear them in the cold, they keep you warm, obviously, since so it's an extra skin, it's an extra layer. But um, if you wear them in the hot, it, you're so much more comfortable because it helps wick away your sweat. For instance, if you put, um, if you wear a leather jacket and just a t-shirt underneath in, in the sweltering hot, you cannot get that jacket off. Because <laughs> your arms are sweating that much, it's just so uncomfortable. And it feels horrible as well. So if you wear base layers, you don't sweat through the base layer. You don't get hot because it's wicking away your sweat. You don't get sticky, feel totally comfortable. And you can just whip your jacket on and off, no problem. So that's why I'm wearing base layers if you were thinking, strange to be wearing those in the, in the warm. So this is just going to be a quick uh, breakfast run. Apologies if you're getting bored of this route because this is just my favourite breakfast place, so and it's a nice run. It's a nice run to it. So <laughs> I think a few of the last videos will have been pretty much the same route. So apologies if you're getting a bit bored of that. But uh, yeah, we're we're getting out and about again very soon. We've got um, we've got our, our annual Aberystwyth trip coming up on uh, where are we today? Sunday, week on Friday. So yeah, we're getting out and about again, and I can't bloody wait. So as you saw on the last video, the bike had its 80,000th birthday. Do you know what? I'm bloody gutted as well because, you know, I'd gone to the trouble of being out for... Well, I went out with view to ending the video exactly how I ended it. But I was just... It was one of them things, you know, sometimes you go out on your bike and you could chew up 100 miles, no problem, without even thinking about it. Well, I think I only had 80 miles to chew to make, to hit the 80,000. And it was just like, after 40 miles, I was like, right then, uh, where else, where else? I was just struggling to wind the miles up. Anyway, so so then went to the trouble of, um, you know, lovely day and everything, good, gorgeous sunshine. I went to the trouble of setting the, the GoPro up so it could film film the uh, the threshold, film it crossing the 80,000th mark. I was watching it back, and it's like the sun was shining on the screen. So... Then you'd go under like a treed area and, and you could see the, the miles perfect. And I was watching it, I was going, don't you dare, don't you dare, you know, watching it back, don't you dare, don't you dare. Just as it, I don't know who that was waving to me, just as it crossed the um, 80,000 mile mark, it was bloody, the sun was shining totally on the screen, you couldn't even really make it out. You'd have thought I'd have gone to the trouble of, uh, you know, extra trouble of checking it for exposure and all that business, but, but yeah, I'll go to the, I thought, come on. If I'd have thought about it a little bit more, I should have been facing into the sun instead of away from it. I were out last night with the band. Cracking night. Thanks to those that came. So shout out to you, Rich and Mo. Thank you for coming. I know you said last night that you watch uh, you watch the videos, so much appreciated. I hope you enjoyed it. I most certainly did. I've had a bit of time off uh, from the band. Just um, you know, a change is always good, isn't it? And I've gigged solid for the last what. Where are we? 2018. Well, I've gigged solid, really, for the last eight years. I've gigged for a lot longer than that. But, uh, not as not as uh, often as I have been doing these last eight years. So uh, I just f I fancied a bit of time off. So, and do you know what? It does it does it did me the world of good because last night I were I were on fire. I felt I felt like everything were you know the band played amazing. And, no one dropped a clangor all night, saying we've not played together for such a long time. It was just like putting on an old glove. But yeah, that's the first gig I've done since Christmas. Felt really good. And an amazing, appreciative audience as well. I watched a video last night. You know, uh, you know I'm a fan of the uh, Missenden Flyer. Well, he's just put a new video up. Um, those of you that don't know, I'm sure, well, I know most of you do know, but those of you that don't know him, uh, the Missenden Flyer, he's... Uh, He's got a super channel. 
and he's posting very regularly. Um, and he's, he's, he's doing a lot of motorbike reviews and stuff at the moment, so he's, he's on different bikes all the time. And he does a bit of garage stuff and you know tinkering and all that kind of stuff. Well, he, going by his name, the Missenden Flyer, he's also he also flies small planes. That kind of stuff fascinates me. I, I've got a mate of mine that owns a helicopter. He just yeah, yeah just some, you know on an evening I'll go down to Southampton for fish and chips. <laughs> you just think it's bloody crazy. And uh, anyway, so yeah, Missenden Flyer, he, he's he's the same but in a, in a small airplane. So I was watching that video last night and it's brilliant. It's about half an hour long and uh, he rides to the, the airfield on his bike and then, you know, takes you through the whole, um, you know, pre-flight checks and all that kind of stuff. And you just think, this is just a bloke on his own, you know, checking, checking that this plane's going to be all right for him. And then, and then, you know, he's doing all his um, official uh, radio in, you know, uh, Tango Bravo, blah, 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 clear for take, all that kind of stuff. Oh, it sounds very complicated far too complicated for me but um oh what a great video and he just basically took you up took you up and uh, flew around i think you were doing something about if you don't do any flights within a certain time period you you have to you have to do three takeoff and landings to be able to legally to be able to uh, let you take passengers up and he says he takes passengers regularly you know he takes his family takes his family away and stuff and i just think how amazing is that just to be able to you know i'm going to go out for a little ride in the on the bike like me for instance now just going for a little ride on the bike, I'll go for some breakfast, you know, cracking morning, sun shining. Uh, I might go up in a plane as well, I might take myself up in an aeroplane. How amazing must that be? But yes, uh, Mr. Missenden, I would love, I know you uh, very kindly have offered to, to take me up there, as I've shown interest. But yes, I am genuinely interested and I would be most grateful, I would love to do it. I was quite nervous watching the video last night, because it's like... You know, for someone that's never done anything like that, he's checking his like propellers. He's checking that there's oil in the engine. What, what if the, what if they're in? What, what? And then he's like, he comes in to do one landing. He's like, yeah, I've done. I'm, I'm, I'm far too low on that one. I've done it far too fast. And you're like, Jesus. Obviously, the bloke's um, very uh, experienced and knows what he's on with. Like he said, he's been flying for 25 years or something. Yeah, that that fascinates me. All that kind of stuff does. So, but yes, yes, I would love to. Um, take you up on your very kind offer to go up over like a little child at Christmas well, that'd be nice to make a video from up there he was saying as well I, I'd commented on the video I asked the question of um, how far can you go obviously I've got no idea if, or how long the fuel lasts or how many miles you can do on it or because the video was just pretty much um, doing the three takeoff and landings it was just it was just short um, didn't really go anywhere just just up and round like kept circling round and doing these takeoffs and landings and stuff i just didn't know how far they how far they went and um he messaged back to say he's flown it to mallorca he flows it flies it to mallorca every year i'm like what i had no idea that they could go that far you know a little tiny little tiny plane what's that on road oh it's a bag i thought that was a dog then Ugh. um yeah i had no idea they went that far yeah, just stay uh, fly it down to Mallorca. He said the only the only factor that that's, that really stops you flying far is your bladder, and I've never even thought about that. I suppose if you're up there, you can't go to the toilet, can you? You can't very well, you know, step into the back. Well, I don't know if it's got autopilot. I'm sure it has. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how it all works, but it's just you know things that you wouldn't you, you don't know of, so you wouldn't uh, you couldn't assume how it works but yeah you, you're bladder so we have to says so you know we'll have to land somewhere to go and have a pee and then get back up oh, that's bloody brilliant Mallorca I mean how cool is that folks yeah I'm just a Mallorca yeah how'd you get here ah, flew myself in my plane <laughs> we started calling him Bruce Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden he's a commercial pilot now as well isn't he Flies the band round in, in their own 747, I think, and uh, I think he's also a commercial pilot. You know, in his uh, spare time, when he's not out on tour, that's that's full on rock star, isn't it? You know, you can be into throwing tellies out of hotel room windows and stuff like that, or you could be a decent bloke. You know, sitting pretty at the top of the world, top of the music tree, with your band, and also in his spare time, oh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a commercial pilot as well. Your captain uh, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden. Rock and roll. 
I might, uh, as I was saying about the route, that's my favourite route there to the right. I'm going to change it up a bit. It's just this right, this way is uh, just heading down into Matlock, or Matlock Green. It's just a bit boring, because it's going through the town. And I'm not bothered about that. Yeah, I'm so ready to be uh, out on tour again. I've not had my tent, I don't think I've had that tent out since last year's Aberystwyth. In fact, I might, I might get it out when we get home. Get it out and uh, get it aired. Because that is gonna stink. Yeah, so now we're coming this way. Instead of going over the nice tops, onto the, to the right hand side where I normally go, over Beely Moor, um, we'll be going, this is about to be Tansley first, then Matlock Green, then Matlock, and then we'll cut through to Darleydale, and then we will turn right, and then pick back up uh, the Chatsworth Road that I would normally uh, come out on to get over to uh, Havisidgeway and Grindleford. That's where the breakfast is. That's where the good stuff is. And this is why, folks, I go on the back roads. Because I can't stand this. I hate bloody traffic. Oh, I'm sure. I don't think anyone likes traffic, do they? Ah, traffic. Traffic lights. That's why it's like that. Just practicing my Irish accent. If you're wondering, that's what it was. <laughs> I've just realised something. I've got up, unloaded the uh, the band stuff. I haven't even had a wash. <laughs> I'm gonna gonna go and sit in public. I haven't even had a wash. Disgusting creature. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, folks. I've been doing very well with the. Uh, as someone pointed out when I was saying on the last couple of videos that I was uh, off the carbs and that and I'm not really dieting but off the carbs but someone pointed out yes mate that's a diet <laughs> okay fair enough a diet yes um, yep still on it and uh, I've been very good and I've lost a stone and a half believe it or not just from dropping carbs and eating uh, loads of veg chicken and fish I've not really stopped I like a whiskey and uh, a beer I don't, I don't really drink beer in week or anything. I'll, I'll have a single malt and that at home at night while I'm working. In fact, no, I'll tell you what I've fell in love with at the moment. Oh, I can't get enough of it. Buffalo Trace Kentucky Bourbon. Oh, man. That's a beautiful drink. Neat or uh, with ginger ale. Buffalo and ginger. That's my favourite drink at the moment. Give it a shot. If you folks are, any of you folks are whiskey drinkers and you've never tasted it, Go and, go and treat yourself. Buffalo Trace. Gorgeous. Dead smooth. <sighs> yeah, I've been really good. And uh, I'm going to treat myself to a big fat full breakfast this morning. Toast and lot. I don't know if you're aware, but there's a new uh, community tab on everyone's channel at the moment. So if you're not into Facebook or anything like that, the social side of it, um, we can all now communicate directly through the channel as you would on social media. Just to post up. I post pictures up and... It seems to be a slow burner at the moment, so I think uh, you know people aren't aware of the fact that it's there yet. But if you're a subscriber and you've clicked the little notification bell, every time I make a post, don't worry, I'm not going to flood, uh, I'm not going to spam you or anything like that. But every time I make a post, it will pop into your email to say that, just as it would when I've uploaded a video, it'll pop into your email just as uh, as like just the same as that. It'll say that I've, uh, you know, Richie Vida's uploaded a video or Richie Vida's up, 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 just uploaded a, a, a post and a picture or whatever. So, uh, yeah, if you've not checked it out, check it out. It'd be nice to get, uh, nice to get some more interactions going on there. It's a great move on YouTube's part, that is, putting that on. We'll be getting back onto proper roads in just a second, folks. Tell me what the weather's doing in your part of the world. It's been very, very bizarre these last couple of days in, uh, in the UK absolutely beautiful it's gone from uh, the deep long cold freezing winter to pretty much overnight full-on summer for full-on heat wave 20 i think we've been up as about we've been up as high as about 28 degrees celsius i think and that's you know bearing in mind you've gone from like four degrees to 28 degrees pretty much overnight it's been a real slap around the face but so so welcome yeah, what's the weather? Whereabouts in the world are you and what's the weather doing now? It is, uh, where are we today? It's Sunday the... Oh, Sunday the 22nd of April. 
What is the weather doing where you are right now? Comments below. Let me know where, where in the world you are and what the weather's doing. And temperatures. We always like to know temperatures. I made a post on the, the Honda VFR uh, page on Facebook about my uh, the last video I did. The 80,000 mile video. And... Uh, People, yeah, people in Canada and that were commenting, saying, "Yep, yeah, it's still uh, we're expecting a load more snow." And I'm like, "Oh man, no, South Dakota, that was it." Someone from South Dakota said they're expecting loads of snow. Oh yeah, number one, please. Thank you. Yeah, contactless. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. See you later, babe. She was nice, wasn't she? Very enthusiastic, happy. Her Gaz Bacon could learn a thing or two from her. He's got to be the least enthusiastic person in the world. Remember when we were on the Picos trip, the infamous Picos trip? We just rode up the N621 to the Stag, which anybody to anybody that's done it will know is just the most perfect, incredible riding road. And, um, and Gaz pulls up, and here's me, me Mr. Enthusiasm, Mr. Charisma, <laughs> saying, uh, Is that the best road you've ever ridden, or what? And Gaz just goes, It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> That's probably Gaz's way of saying, Wow. Nice full tank. Thank you, mate. Oh, I'm getting excited. Getting excited about my food, about my breakfast, and my pint of tea. Here we are, Grindleford Station. Let's go and get some brekkie. Right then, all fed. <clears throat> That's a great breakfast. I like just going down there and sitting and just just enjoy being. No rush. Peace and quiet. In your own little world. And uh, some good breakfast. I didn't finish my tea then. I could see that there was... Uh, some people eyeing up my table, so I thought I thought I'd vacate it and let them sit down. That's my carb intake for the week done. Slice of fried bread and then a slice of bread and butter. Got a little girl waving. It's either a subscriber or it's just a very enthusiastic little girl. Bless her. Oh, I can't wait to be able to do that with Georgia. Just go for a little afternoon ride with her or whatever. Oh. I bet she's just super excited to be out on motorbike with her dad. Oh, that's lovely. Well, folks, I think that's about me and you done for today. If you've enjoyed this little breakfast run, give us a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing if you're not already. I'll see you soon, folks. Thank you very much. You all right? Yeah, How you doing? Yeah, Pardon? Where you been? Uh, just to uh, Grindleford. Right. Grindleford Cafe. Oh, right Have you? Yeah. It started lovely this morning, didn't it? Yeah. Lovely weather this morning, but then. Yes. <laughs> they didn't know me then. <laughs> Little girl then. Are you going to put this on YouTube? <laughs> oh, lovely to meet you both. And thank you for waving at me. You'll have to drop us a little uh, comment in the section below and let me know your name. Do you know what? I'm, lo I'm really loving this suit. But now if I'd have gone out in me leather, I'd have been panicking like mad now. Thinking, oh, I've got to get back, I've got to get back. But... I'm absolutely bone dry, it's brilliant. 
I'm not going to keep banging on about the suit, but if, if you're in the market to look for a decent suit, I can thoroughly recommend this one. And it's the uh, Risha Cyclone. It's definitely going to be on my back most of this year, I can tell you that. Whoa!